Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Another Riverbend Talent on the Big Z brought to you by the Halpin Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Vorse of Macias Insurance with the Sea Shanty Sing Along already underway down at Morrison's Irish Pub. Open mic later tonight at Raging Cajun and Alton starts around 9 o'clock. Kevin Gruen already underway up at George's uh, Pub and Grill in Jerseyville. No music tonight at Big Daddy's. They're uh, celebrating a certain baseball team across the river. Mo Pleasure underway at Patrick's in Granite City, 6 to 9. Uh, and let's see, it looks like Scott Marlin's underway down at the Red Bar in Collinsville from 6 to 9. The sub started at 5.30. They'll go to 8.30. That's uh, the BC Homegrown Acoustic Trio. And uh, that's at the Prairie Inn in Dorsey. Also going on uh, tonight, trivia night down at the conservatory with uh, Mila Duppy starting at 9 o'clock, going till 11. Down at the conservatory in Alton, the truckers at Fast Eddie's from 7 to 11. Scott and Michelle down at Deutz Village Inn, 7 to 11. They're not in our office pig pen uh, thinking they're on the air like well, last week you know i'll, I'll take that as a win man <laughs> yeah, i will too it's good to see them. they will be here in uh, two weeks from today i do believe excited excited yep. ryan holting uh starts at seven at the cabin at judy creek goes till 10 tonight uh check this one out pig pen all mm-hmm. right the madco theater company presents the disaster movie the musical <laughs> All right. I don't even know what the disaster I, movie is. I think it's like a scream type movie, you know, what, where it's like a comedy, gotcha. like, a parody of, of right. a yeah horror parody type thing. So that's interesting. Tickets go from fifteen to one hundred and fifty bucks, and uh, it's seven thirty to nine thirty at Miners Theater in Collinsville. They're gonna do that, I think, through Sunday. We'll we'll catch up on that in a little while. Uh, Experience Live Music Row, of course, underway down there in Belleville. I'm seeing if I can find out about the disaster movie to see. I don't know why. I'm just like, I'm curious. What is it that they're making a musical out of it that it's, you know? No, I was noticing at Experience Live Music Row down there at uh, in Belleville. Yeah. Ben Peters is playing at Benny's. So it's Ben at Ben's. Ben at Benny's. Ben at Benny's. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. Brad Nose doing his open mic at H's Bar. Uh, Porch Cafe. They're across the river at Billy's on Broadway. There you go, man. And what a, what a nice uh, Thursday evening in our Riverbend area. Like, that, that's quite a bit of stuff going on around here. Yeah. Including the Madco Theater <laughs> presents right. Disaster. Uh, and I'm looking up this, the Disaster movie, and I, yeah, it is just, I, I think you had it right. I'm, anyway, uh, moving on. Moving yeah. on, man. Moving on. Uh, it guess? caught my interest where I was like, I have never heard of that, but these people are so into it. They're making a musical out of it. That's cool. I found it different. Yeah, that's why that's why it caught my interest because it's just uh, it's like okay, I, if if somebody's into this so much, they're making a musical. I'm I'm interested. What's going on with Did it? Did you say it was a parody or no? Uh, I, you know, I didn't get that. I saw I saw I made it to the picture and I realized I'm like I'm on the radio. I shouldn't be reading about a movie. We'll right find now. out. After. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, that that voice that you hear is the voice of Darius Garcia, the lonesome. <laughs> Drifter, no, uh, something like that. Yeah, uh, Darius Bangler. Correct. Yeah, uh, uh, AKA Derry Garcia. That's the name that some people have given me. Yes. Yes. Well, you you you've taken it and 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 leaned into a wee bit more to your to your mic. There we go. I, I I'm lean into the mic like oh, I leaned into yeah. the name. The, the yes. big, there we go. This guy gets it. Yeah. Well, you're trying to take my job. No, nah, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I need so. to I need to gain that fame that you've developed over the years with your amazing Big Ben boys. <laughs> I can't even do it. I sing the high parts, Big Ben. You know. <laughs> You're the David Crosby of this group. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. I mean, someone's got to be, and that's a good position to fill for sure. I'm the. Why tenor. are you Why are you always trying to sue my friend Paul Rogers? <laughs> uh, well, because. Mm. Oh my god. Joni Mitchell made me do it. <laughs> uh, uh, it's always Joni Mitchell. That Jeez. wasn't a very good David Cross. Well, you know. It, it was actually More like be- Mickey Mouse. It, it, it was actually better than you think. I don't know if you've heard David lately, but <laughs> Oh man. I imagine he's mm. kind of like <laughs> Well, <yeah. laughs> 
Uh, so anyway, uh, Derry Garcia, welcome back to the show, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good, and, good to be back. And uh, just to, to, to let folks who don't know know, uh, Mr. Derry Garcia, uh, as he said, he's leaned into that name as people started calling you that because you were doing lots of dead tunes. Yeah, hundred percent. So, so you're you're out playing, you're and and you do uh, what's known as looping, mm-hmm. where you create the music right in front of everybody. You, you you put the bass line down, you loop it. You put the rhythm down, you loop it out. You know, yeah. whatever parts you feel necessary right. to live recording. Yes, every part of the band basically. Right, and 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 putting it all together Correct. and putting it out there, which is is a pretty neat uh, way to to go about it. And you. As you were making a name for yourself around town and playing lots of dead tunes mm-hmm. in there, because you are a, a bit of a deadhead. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, and hey, you're out there making America grateful again. Hoping to. Uh, Hoping to, <laughs> indeed. Yes. And so, uh, so the, people started calling you Derry Garcia. Instead, your your name Darius Spangler. People right, exactly. started calling you Derry yeah. Garcia, and <clears throat> so you've, as you say, you've leaned into that, right. and, and uh, you've been out couple years now doing this for sure uh-huh yeah i uh i started kind of uh dabbling and playing the music in 2019 and really started full-blown trying to do full production shows to the best quality possible and probably it's like 2021 22 somewhere there so i have three or two or three years under my yeah. belt as far as the full production goes yeah and 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 i will say i said it before we went on there i i, I commented and i'll say it again uh, I saw you last winter, mm-hmm. and I just saw you play at the Winter Jam a few months, or you know, a month ago at Jacoby's, whatever it was. Yeah, you're playing at Jacoby's again on the 19th. Mm-hmm. We're going to get Correct. down to talking about that. Uh, but I felt like your technique and, and, and your smoothness and looping, because there's something to to learning the technique of doing that. It's one yeah. thing to play, but right. it's another thing to run all these machines that help. Right. Right. And uh, your you have you have put the time in, and it shows, my friend, because Thank it you. was a uh, it's a tough thing to do, and, and you were uh, very smooth. It can I be. Saw it. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the times now, uh, even though I've chosen this route kind of being a solo full man, like one man full band, um, <clears throat> I've still like maintained saying that a lot of times the uh, <clears throat> the loop pedal itself is 90% of the battle. Like sometimes I wish I could just play guitar, but I can't sure. just do that by myself. I could just do that by myself, but I couldn't do what I do without that, you know? So that's 90% of the struggle. And whenever all that goes right, we're in good shape. So yeah. it's just a matter of muscle memory and just getting comfortable with things. And as I played more, it just kind of happens yeah. naturally. So, so, uh, old bluegrass uh, guys that you'd have four or five guys mm-hmm. playing acoustic instruments right. around one microphone mm-hmm. and they have to move they're, they're mixing themselves right when, when the fiddle player wants to, is supposed to get hot he mm-hmm. leans in and everybody and then all of a sudden everybody parts and the bass player's in the back leans right. in and hits a couple right. notes and it's like a synchronized swimming act but right. everybody has to be in the right place 100%. at the right time for it to work and not right. bump into each other and, and running a looping station can be similar to that you right. have a dance that goes along with exactly. the music that the exactly. footwork and the and if you don't get it right you're gonna bump into each other right i, I would like in the whole bluegrass situation to uh, a lot of times people say bluegrass itself is like people having a conversation like yes. five people at once but as far as the actual recording and like live producing on one microphone kind of situation it is like a dance like you said but it's also one of those things it's like Uh, a synchronized unit as opposed to one person's talking to another and vice versa that actually kind of all five come together as one and it becomes one moving organism at that part or at that point kind of similar to like if you're singing on a microphone and you're about to sing loud you know to pull back but Mm -hmm. that's just you individually but all five of them can kind of collectively work as a group to do that you know but yeah the whole loop pedal situation it is a different dance it's It's a different genre you know but the flow of it is very similar you, you, you could take it instead of saying bluegrass and go marching bands right they have to move a certain way and, right. and, and it is this just this extra added layer right. of of tapping that you right. have to do with your feet on at sure. the right time sure. or it don't work right uh and I, I i like i agree with what you're saying at like live music if you got five or six guys playing there's times that they're just playing a song and they're all playing together right. but a lot of like bands it it music is a language and it 100%. is a conversation that's happening where when you're looping you're not having a conversation right. with yourself right you're telling a story mm-hmm. 
with multiple la- layers. Exactly. But you're, but, but you're the you're the only right. person telling it. So what, it's not what, a conversation. It's more a story that right, you're telling. Right. Right. What, when I'm doing uh, the live looping thing, whenever it's something that's structured, that is kind of more like the you're just marching on and just you're kind of in the moment, or not necessarily in the moment, but you have to be more accurate about what you're doing. But then whenever things go off in dead music and you're kind of in that jam space and I can yeah. build loops in new ways, that's whenever it kind of becomes that flow that you were just talking about yeah. as far as like just like going off and uh, whatever, wherever it takes you, so to speak. <laughs> you would brought up marching band too, which is interesting. Um, I do have a like long-term percussive background that was my first instrument before i could even speak speak proper english i had uh, a full-size pearl export drum set in the 90s i was like three years old i had to stand up to play it and um eventually i started playing in school band and got into marching band and took that very very seriously and uh to the point that i almost like got into professional marching band kind of thing which is a whole different sidetrack if you haven't heard of drum corps international look into it it's the big league of marching bands but anyway that's definitely helped me with my loop timing too just having oh, yeah. that percussive having that, background 100 percent. because you 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 know timing very well and, right. and and anyone who doesn't understand uh, the, the depth of what he just said to be in a marching band if you're in a high school marching band it's it's kind of like being in boot camp almost two weeks of hardcore training and marching eight nine hours a day learn these routines and, and and in a high school situation you spend the entire year performing one routine that you you perfect over the Correct. year you move to the next level of college and every football game you have a whole new mm-hmm. thing to you know, a whole new routine right, to learn right. you're not perfecting one routine right. over time it is hey Forget the one you did last week. Right. We got a new one for this week. Get it on, right. buddy. That that and, big leagues of marching band that I was talking about, they will literally focus on a 14-minute deal, and they will do that 12 hours a day all, all summer day. long. Yeah. And it's just like – it's literally very military yeah. precise kind of. Yeah, it, and it, it is a, uh, a grueling – uh, sort of thing to go to go through. Yeah. So the ones that take it serious are impressive, but then also I'm sure there are some schools that fall into that stereotypical like high school band situation. Yeah, but yeah. like there are different different I, vibes I for t- sure. I was going to say to me uh, any I don't care what kind of a of a band it is, marching band, a symphonic band, a jazz band. It could be any kind of right. band, a rock and roll band. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> a one man band. A one man band, <laughs> right? I mean, it could be anything. And, and uh, uh, to me, uh, music is just uh, an expression of, of exactly. emotion uh, all the way around. A way to tell a story, as you say, as right, we were talking right. about, a way to express any emotion, and, and uh, probably my favorite way to go about it. For sure. So, <laughs> uh, well, well, uh, we uh, have you on specifically to uh, to discuss Bike Day. Yes. Everybody knows, well, not everybody, but most people know about 420. Right. It's, 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 look, we've been celebrating the same numbers, 69 mm-hmm. and 420 forever. No, right. <laughs> it's time for some new numbers, uh-huh. man. Uh, no, uh, 419, the day before yep. 420. That right. is, that is National Bike Day. The that, irony that they're back to back. Oh, it's perfect. Right. It, Bicycles it's, and. 420 go hand in hand. I, I don't see how they couldn't. Right. Uh, so uh, that's that is uh, is going on down at Jacoby's Art Center. Yes. And that is April 19th, obviously. Yep. So and uh, I guess it's the 81st anniversary, correct? 81st anniversary of the historic bicycle ride by yep. Mr. Albert Hoffman. Indeed. Uh, so there you go. And, and to celebrate that, music and and colorful lights and and yep. and smiles and good times yep. uh just as it should be all happening down at jacoby's art center and and you sir gonna be pl- uh doing your one man band yes indeed i'm uh, uh gonna be playing second i think it's gonna be like seven o'clock something like that mm-hmm. is whenever i'll be going on but and and before you is Jared Lutz, I correct. think. Correct. Yep. Now I have not seen Jared. Have you? Yeah, I yeah, I'm uh, pretty good buddies with him. He's uh, out of Edwardsville, is where he plays yeah. for the most part. But uh, we tr- we called him and was asking him to try to get him on next Thursday cool. to have him come yeah, on. Yeah. But he's busy. Gotcha. He, he's, yeah. he's, he's playing. He plays a he, lot. I was, was going to say he said he was busy playing, and right. I said, listen, playing music's more fun than talking about playing music. Right. And he, you know, so go, 
as much uh, fun as I'm having. I can't disagree right, with that. Right, right. You know? This is a good time, man. But like, uh, you know, like playing music's more fun than talking about right. playing. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, so I have not. I've got to talk to him, but I've not mm-hmm. got to see him. So, so you're gonna you're gonna inform me about Jared. What, what's uh, has he got a band or it's, is it? Well, to my knowledge, he is a part of at least one group. Uh, I think that he might have a second project going on, but mainly he does a he performs as a solo artist. Um, differently than I do, he, I think he has a loop pedal, but I don't know how much he uses it. He's more of a like singer songwriter type, but uh, mm-hmm. he'll dive into some dead music. I know that one of the groups that he's in does a lot of Dave Matthews band. He's a great, great singer and a good guitar player. Like it's more of what you would expect from a singular person, though. Right. But he is great at what he does, a hundred percent. Nice. Good eclectic mix of everything. Great vocals. Great guitar. And uh, yeah exactly what you'd want from one person with a guitar and handsome from what i understand no <laughs> indeed <laughs> uh, no, I, I, <laughs> so i'm looking forward to uh since i've never seen him but we've said his name mm-hmm. on this uh, show quite a few times over the years looking forward to seeing him but i was in my mind i'm like man it's, uh, for some reason i had him pegged as a solo artist as we're talking yes but then something I remember if it was somebody or something said something about him being in a band, and I'm like, oh, man, is, is it going to be a band? Which would be fun, too. But, yeah. you know, I, I, I built up something else in my mind right, already. Right. So now I've stripped it all clear, and I'm ready for the truth right. to shine. As far as, like, a lot of working musicians, he's truly a working musician, like multiple gigs a week kind of thing. To actually make that financially feasible, like, a lot of times it's easier to coordinate, and then also, you know, yeah. just getting a whole band together even for rehearsal can be difficult once yeah. a week, let alone three gigs a week. So that has to be kind of a solo thing. Sure. So I know that he has been a part of, the like, a Dave Matthews cover band, and then primarily them. I'm sure they branch out a little bit more than that. But then also there is something new that sprung up recently that I hadn't heard about. I don't remember what that's called, though. It's been within the last couple weeks, I think. Do you remember what the Dave Matthews uh, band was Man, called? I'm pressed to remember I what it is. I was going to put him on the spot there. No, Matt no. Davies. <laughs> It's it's nice on it's news, it's on the tip of my tongue. He's got the fake news look in his eyes. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not lying about that. No, 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 I'm him. Not. Oh, okay, okay. I'm everything lying. he says, and, I gotta go. And I'm hmm. lying about everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man. Uh, no, they they played out of a uh, probably out of Stagger and different places in Collinsville and okay, Edwardsville nice. and whatnot. You guys have probably read their name a time right, or two. That's it's what just I was a matter of which to... one it is. Right. I'll right. look it up and it, like. If not before the show's over, after, and I'll let for, you guys for know. For now, we'll just say it's called Madco Theater. There we go. And that they're going to be doing Disaster the Movie <laughs> <Right>. Musical <laughs> at Miner's Theater tonight. <laughs> so, hey, not only Crash is... Crash into uh, the musical. <laughs> <laughs> not, not only is Darius uh, playing on the uh, 19th, he's playing uh, next uh, Friday night at the conservatory. Right? Correct. April nice. 12th. This Friday night, it's Aaron Joe in the uh, Greater Good with Piasaw Canyon. 8.30 to 11.30 at the uh, Conservatory in Alton. Now, uh, there's still a rotation going on Friday nights with you, Aaron Joe, and seems like uh, Hideous Gentleman was in on that at one yeah, time. Yeah, I don't know how fully they're currently like still committed to doing that monthly. I don't know if that spot's still open. There are a few things that have cycled through and changed as far as like yeah. individual musicians, like personal lives and schedules and whatnot, and then also the conservatories kind of had a couple workovers in the right. last couple months, yeah. too. So, yeah, that's why um, I was checking in on that. Yeah, as see. far as, like, every month, I think Aaron, Joe, and I are the only two that okay. are 100% scheduled, but the Hideous Gentlemen are still, like, going to be playing a show. I don't know if they've announced one yet, but there is one that's going to be happening on a Saturday in the next month or two. Well, nice. they're playing that, a- that's just since I don't know if they've announced it or not yet, I'm just... You know, I haven't seen it, but uh, the word I, is also I think I might be one of the opening acts for that show too. So I did see that night. they're uh, doing the night market this year. Oh yeah, they are. So yeah, yeah, excellent, that'll excellent. Be fun. Man, that that's probably not too far in the future from getting kicked off. You know it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the kickoffs are happening. It's spring pig pen. You got the uh, Grafton <laughs> outdoor places all opening up. Yep. Th- this this don't. This list is going to turn into a book right. in a yep. few weeks because yep. it'll take up this, the whole yeah. show. In yeah. the summer, it, it gets to where it is. is uh, but you know what? That is what a great problem for this community to have. Right. I, I would, I, Jeff Benzman was at my house this morning for a minute. We were chatting, and we were talking about how many musicians are in this area. Like on this side of the river, even compared mm-hmm. to like St. Louis, which is a much yeah. bigger city. Right. And, and there's just so, you know... 
and it's and it's great to be in a community in an area that is like you know that, mm-hmm. that's just so full of uh, full of music. Right. And w- we keep finding out more and more uh, Pigpen that uh, the St. Louis bands are starting to uh, catch on as mm-hmm. to what's going on over right. here. Matter of fact, I was contacted today by a band called Wise Mary, who is rather big in St. Louis, mm-hmm. and they want to come on the show. So nice. And uh, we just had a yeah. St. Louis band on recently. To be entirely cliche, don't oh, tell me. Oh, uh, Joint 20, Joints 22? Yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right, yeah. To be entirely cliche, don't tell me this town ain't got no heart. <laughs> Indeed. I love she There's truths in some cliches, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I don't know. My job's not meant to master, only to shed light. Exactly, so. <laughs> exactly. See? Uh, I mean, you're speaking my language, bro. Right. <laughs> How hey. many sentences can we go back and forth without actually creating original sentences? You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I knew people. I knew this family that were, uh, they, you know, they're trying to get their their kids to not curse, and they were deadheads, right. so they would use Grateful Dead song titles right. that started with the same letter, like you know, ah, Franklin's Tower. That's funny. <laughs> you know? That's funny. <laughs> Uh, Warfrat was not on that safe list. Nah. <laughs> war, well, that's that's the one. That's your the one mother's song. a Warfrat, right? <laughs> uh, you could go pre-dead and use Warlock. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for Ken Casey's like you. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for something more friendly. Uh, so there you go, man. Uh, no, Night the nineteenth uh, of uh, April, National Bike Day. And we said, and we said uh, uh, Jared Lutz starting the show out, mm-hmm. uh, and then you're playing. Correct. Uh, then a band I've heard of somewhere called the Sandwich Brothers Band. Yeah, uh, they're gonna uh, try not to annoy everybody too bad before Colt Ball and Friends comes up. There we go. And uh, finishes out the night uh, with just a uh, celebration again of the uh, anniversary of Albert Hoffman's historic bike ride. Yep. Uh, yeah. We love bicycles. I want to ride my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I prefer. I had a bike. bike. <laughs> I knew that's what it was going to be. I, knew that. I was like, as, as soon as we Fit. did that, I'm right. like, he's thinking Floyd oh, right now. Right. As, as soon as we did that, I'm like, uh, yeah, I that's have one a of, bike. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's one of my go tos. <laughs> that is that is a good I'm constantly one. Honestly, I might prefer to listen to that song. To be fair. Oh sure, absolutely. <laughs> as, as soon as as soon as we did that, I'm like, right. he's over there thinking Floyd, and we should be thinking Floyd. Right, 100. <laughs> percent Although Queen is pretty oh, no, they, yeah, oh yeah they, yeah I'm t- taking nothing away from you know Brian May or, <laughs> or Freddie Mercury right. or any of them. Uh, so there you go, man. Going to be a good time. That is all at Jacoby's, and it's just a ten dollar entrance fee for the entire night. All four bands for 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 ten dollars. You never, you can't even get a McDonald's Happy Meal for that. That's two fifty a band. You can go to the dollar store, and everything costs three seventy five. Yeah, you know? I'm telling you, you get man. a whole band for two fifty. Didn't Absolutely. they change the name to DG because there is no dollar stuff in there anymore? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I don't know. Uh, the uh, uh, the band uh, out of Festus, Missouri, uh, the Bottle Rockets, they had a song they put out way back when called $100 Car. And after 10 or 12 years of playing it, they changed it to $1,000 Car because you can't get a $100 That's Car funny. that rides That's any- funny. That's funny. And now... It's about it, time to upgrade to $10,000 that- Car. Right. Five-figure Car. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> In my $50,000 Car. <laughs> right. Dollar Tree and Dollar General all have three dollar signs before the second word in the name. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Well, the times, they are changing, Indeed. man. That's all right. That's Indeed. all right. Got to gotta roll with it and enjoy it as much as we can. And, and this weekend, there's got to be some stuff to enjoy, A right? lot to enjoy. Well, you got Generation X on Friday night at Fast Eddie's from 7.30 that to 11.30. That is Billy Idol's first band, right? It is. That is, I don't know if Billy Idol's still in or if it's the same Generation X, but... Generation X was from the 80s, bro. Well, it's the year of the X. You know, it, Monday's an X. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to be a clips. big X Monday. Right. Yeah, you meteors got, and, and, yeah. It's, you got Twitter, right? Turn to X. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, true. The uh, 24th letter of the alphabet is X. It's Interesting. 2024. I haven't it's, heard about all this. That's it's cool. also yeah. the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Mm. 24th letter. Mm, mazel tough. Yeah. Yeah, you want to, yeah. you want more? I keep going. It's yeah, go down, yeah. go down the line. I'm intrigued. Okay, for the first time in a long time, there are two broods 
of cicadas hatching at the I same heard, time. I heard about that. So I that's heard across about that. mm-hmm. two yeah. breeds. And Another the whole of the eclipse is crossing is what you yeah. were saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's, uh, well, Elon... we got, and we got two meteors the same day as the eclipse that are, are, are long spread out meteors. Right. Like I didn't that. know about that. Yeah. And one of them, I think, only comes around every 96 years. What or does it crazy. 71, I think. 71 years. Yeah, I knew yeah. I knew it was way. I mean, I, I'm, I'm making it all up as I go along. It, it's not a meteor. <laughs> it's a comet. Okay. Yeah. We can argue semantics. Well, all you night. know, <laughs> you, you, you led me into SpaceX. Sure, that's what you're trying to sure. do. Sure, that, that, right. that's there where we, we were heading to, man. But what segment. some people may not realize is check what the planet alignment is mm. on Monday. So not only are we having an eclipse, a comet, but the planets are in a perfect alignment as well. That's crazy. And the whole time, Mercury will be in retrograde. That's <laughs> that's that's the kicker right there. <laughs> If things are happening weird, it's just because Mercury. <laughs> right. I think that might be fake SpaceX news. Right, that, that, right. I'm just try, <laughs> trying to be a part of the conversation, man. I don't really know what's going on. I'm just, you know, I just hear if he tells me to carry stuff, I do. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't bring up Disease X. That'll come after the comment. Oh, that. Uh-oh. I hate to mention that. Well, you know, it's too late. <laughs> it, 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 maybe too, too soon, maybe too late. Either you way. can Google that one. I was about well, to say, are you allowed to tell it, us about it, that? Uh, well, yeah. you know. <laughs> if you want to know. I'm not what, in any club, so I could talk, but I don't go. know what that's going to do What the to repercussions, me. yeah. <laughs> so I'll do the Skull and Bones dance. Skull and Bones dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Skull and Bones. What's that? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I, well, I, I'm trying to lead us all to the same spot here. <laughs> it all keeps coming back. <laughs> right? See what Generation X did to us? Yeah. All because they're playing at Fast Eddie's on Friday. Now it's the Generation Y. Since we're talking secret societies, though, the owls. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Are playing at the VFW on Friday night from 7 to 11. Should have been the Owls Club. The Owls at the Owls. Speaking of exes, the dueling pianos. (laughs) There we go. Are out at Bakers and, and Hale from and 7 to 11. I want to see those lists, too. Make some jokes. They keep coming. Just keep coming. Hey, it's a little known fact. That they're playing 7 to 10 at the Moose in Wood River. Little known fact. Yeah, yeah. I skipped Nate Sickmeyer. There's a uh, new venue in uh, Cottage Hills. It's called uh, Grip and Sip Golf. Oh, cool. So yeah, I've heard about that place. Yeah. Uh, and you know, and like a lot of people don't realize it, but if you take grip and you take sip. Yeah. <laughs> right? <it's> an X. <laughs> you can't spell grip and sip without an X, right? <laughs> You can't spell Locke's Brick House without an exit. <laughs> no, I don't know. Right. So, so Nate, Nate is playing 7 to 10 at Grip and Sip. There golf we go. And kind of chills. Oh, look at this one. Right. <laughs> the Angel. I just saw the it. The Angel. <laughs> The band Angel. Right. The band right. Angel is playing at Wildy Theater. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's Punky, take... what's his name? Punky Whips. Punky <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 8 o'clock man. at the uh, Wild E Theater on Friday night. Ryan Holting, 9 o'clock at the uh, Backstage Bar and Patio. That's the old back bar. And what a great idea for a name there, Backstage, because it's kind of backstage from the Wild E. There you go. Right that across the park. Yeah. 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 And, and they didn't have to change much of the name because it was already the back bar. They just added stage. I, I heard they just put one of those little carrot marks and put stage above it. Right. <laughs> Two carrots that cross over. <laughs> or, or if you just stack one on top of the other and yeah, flip it, two, it actually kind of makes an X. Two inverted carrots, right? Dip to dip. <laughs> you can't say that on this. this is a family right? station, man. It's carrots. You can't say carrots. Eat your peas and carrots. I want to give a, a huge carrots shout and out and to, uh, and to to Butch Moore. Okay. Because like we love the Stagger Inn. Absolutely. We've talked about how cool a place that is. Yep. Because it's got a listening room. Fantastic. Right. Yeah. And uh, but they are not good at telling me uh, on their sites mm. who's playing. Mm-hmm. So Butch Moore today posted the entire month of April. So we're covered for April. Thanks what a to guy! Butch. Yeah, the Butch. legendary Butch Moore. Who Indeed, absolutely. Man. Has been doing that open mic on Sundays now forever. I've known him for as long as I can get into Stagger in. So yeah, going yeah. on ten years now. Yeah, and he's that's a Jared Lutz landing 
Oh right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I would say kind of like the conservatory is my home spot. The the staggering yeah. is definitely his. I, yeah. I, I think that Sunday staggering uh, open mic w- was was sort of a launch pad for for many of people around this area 100%. because it was one of those things that it just was always there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and open mic nights are always great for meeting musicians. Right. A way to get out and get your songs out if you're a songwriter. Right. And also launching pads for right. people who are like, man, I really want to do this, but I, you know, I, I, I've never done it before. Yeah. Well, go to an open mic night. Right. Yeah. And theirs was like reliably consistent schedule oh, yes. wise and also crowd wise. That, like, that's what everybody I mean. always yeah. came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they do a Wednesday night open mic as well. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah. I think Jared actually might run the Wednesday one. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. want to say that because I didn't have it written down. Yeah. And no, I, I know he runs one of them and I'm assuming it's the Wednesday. I think does you're Bush right. still do Sunday? Well, I'm putting that on you. Okay. Yeah, that's but, fine. Butch does do Sunday. Right. There are there are subs from time to time, right. but like uh, Laney and Julie and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think there's one on the list this week, but we'll see when we get to uh, Sunday. Spencer McDowell uh, at the uh, Stagger Inn though on Friday night from five to eight. That's the uh, happy hour. Anthony Nanny duo at the Cabin at Judy Creek from seven to eleven on Friday, and flip side down at Deutz. Two nights, uh, Friday and Saturday, starting at 8.30. Lickety Split Pig Pen, they're back. <laughs> 8 to 11.55 at Patty McDee's in Granite City. It's a good name. Yeah. They're going to have a comedy night at Tegan's again. Oh, nice. And, uh, you know, Ronaldo Mercado is uh, Man, probably he, behind all those. I He's was going to say, that guy, his Granite name guy. is uh, over and over. we got to get him back. Mm-hmm. And, and I've talked to him a few times. And, uh one reason or another thing scheduling you know it is a he, he's a busy guy and we're, we're only here on thursdays from six to seven so if that time doesn't work out yeah we don't really have a lot of other options uh to choose from so but we uh, we're gonna have to work on getting him back and and that um uh a couple of the other uh local comedians we've had on have been great so we mm-hmm. gotta try and max price jc sibla and anthony schaefer joining ronaldo mercado down at tegan's on friday night Five bucks in advance. You only got one day for that. And then tomorrow it's going to be eight bucks at the door. So. There you go. And then night number two of the Madco Theater Company presents the Disaster Movie Musical. So Act. down at the uh, Miners Theater in Collinsville. John Evans up at George's Pub and Grill in Jerseyville under new ownership. But still some kick butt steaks up there from what I understand. Under new management, someone else is stamping the time cards. Let's try, I don't know. <laughs> I've got my ticket for Friday night. Where I'm heading? Road right to Point. On. Road to Point. I, I was right. going to say. I, I bet you did. Uh, I'm trying to arrange a uh, death match between the two, the trip, two trip hazards. hazards. That would be right. awesome. Silver fight material. Fight till the death. Facing infamy. Raise the alarms. Trip hazard and extrusion at Pops and Sage for a Road to Point fest and. Uh, yeah, my ticket says silver material, so I'm going to go put it in the bucket. Hopefully, they get enough in there to uh, play Point Fest. Absolutely, awesome. absolutely. And, of course, Experience Live Music Row yeah, all weekend long down there in Belleville. Dave Mendoza Band playing at the uh, Copper Fire down there. And I believe this weekend uh, Pat Liston's down there as well. Oh, nice. But nice. did you see Mel's playing down there? Emma and Mel, 6 to 10 at Benny's. <laughs> I did not see that. Yeah, oh, awesome. There you go. Whoever and, Mel is. Right. <laughs> whoever Mel is. Get your picture taken with Mel tonight at Benny's Pizza. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm happy for Emma and, and, and Mel and, and uh, happy for Dave Mendoza. Yeah. Being out there. What else we got going on? Brandon uh, Sherpius, 8 o'clock at H's Bar in <laughs> Belleville. Sherpius. Yeah. I, I got the Sherpius once. Oh, horrible it's i got arrested business i got arrested by the sherfius <laughs> someone shot the sherfius <laughs> i shot the sherfius they did uh, not shoot the deputy the shotgun creek shot the derfius now shotgun creek is at silver creek sports social in belleville also on friday night, friday night. that is a that is a friday night that is yeah. what's happening in our, our our little area here where the river runs backwards and everything's just a little different. We're going to do some benefits on Saturday around town to raise some money, which is right. what musicians do quite often, it, volunteer it, their time. It is no doubt uh, over the past year we've had way too many of them because uh, you know it, it, the musicians are always the first one to speak up when someone's in trouble and go, hey, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's make some money and help out. So 
Uh, what do we got going on on this particular? Well, a benefit for the overnight warming location. Oh, okay. And that's going to be with Porch uh, Cafe. Again, Owl. Overnight warming mm-hmm. location. Yeah. Owl. Owl. Which does not ooh, have an X in it, ooh. but it has it two V's. Right. <laughs> Which is the carrots, and if you put them <laughs> right. back to back, you know what that spells. X. Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, oh great gosh. cause. You know, unfortunately, uh, some folks are homeless and need yeah. a warming location and... Uh, so they're going to raise some money. Porch Cafe going to help right. out. Yeah, uh, tickets are thirty bucks, but it includes chicken dinner. Well, hey, there you go. Yeah, five o'clock. So or, what more can yeah, you want? five o'clock at Sports Tap in Alton. Thirty, so, thirty bucks. You get the entertainment and you get a, a chicken dinner, and you know that the money's going to a, a good cause here. Yeah. It's a win, win, win. And that Porch Cafe band brings it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, outstanding band there. They're uh, way better than the Porch Diner. <laughs> okay. I'll take okay. Your word for it. <laughs> okay. Moving on. That was the worst joke I've heard all day. <laughs> I'm sure we can come Took up with worse than that by for this year. Though, you know? uh, yeah, just give, give me a minute. <laughs> He's man. warming up. Right, right. Name, name a few more gigs. As and I'll the have kids are saying, four. let him cook. <laughs> also on Saturday night down at the conservatory, <laughs> where Darius Spangler will be playing next Friday night. Yeah. The Divine March. Nice. With Happy. Happy ten dollar show at the conservatory okay. starts at uh, six. Happy's a character off South Park. That's the only Happy I know. Okay, I'm not sure who, but Divine Marsh. That, that's our our buddy, uh, Mr. Grassley. There. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, good show going on there. Also, you know it. We got Naked Soul two to six p.m. But then Generation X back <laughs> at Fast Eddie's on Saturday. So. Nothing like a nude soul. A, a, a nude soul, and the naked soul, and uh, Billy Idol coming back to haunt us right. again with Generation X. It's all, all, all right. fake news. Back to back. Uh, number four combo. Belly at the, to belly. Uh, number four combo with the VFW in Alton from 7 to 11 on Saturday. And Lazy Lester at uh, Bakers and Hale and Godfrey on Saturday. And Lanny and Julie doing 2 to 6 at the Pump House in nice. Wood River. Blake Foltz, 4 to 7 at uh, Blue Stem Vodka in Meadowbrook, as they're starting to fire up their little outdoor spot there. Nice. Yes. Yeah, that, that's a good little uh, good little place to stop and have some vodka. Matt, too tall, tall. <laughs> <laughs> 6 to 9 at George's Pub and Grill in Jersey. You know, he, he wants to do me a jersey because <laughs> I gave him a Coke. <laughs> Bandmate of Matt Van Force. Uh, from time yeah. to time. Our sponsor. Known as Sexy Medley. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Although, Mr. Hand. Right. Well, John Hand is, is just a handsome individual. And Halpin music. And, 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 and if you have no other reason to go into Halpin, it's just uh, for the eye candy. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, man. All the... Instruments hanging on the wall. I, dude, I know. <laughs> Even if you don't like music, just go in it, for it, the ice. <laughs> it, it is just, it is a big drool fest. You walk in, and you're like, there's look at all these instruments. I just want to take them all home and love them. I mm-hmm. promise I'll feed them and water them, Bob. Can I have them all? Nothing like the smell of a brand new amplifier. Right. Oh, yeah. It's still got that <laughs> I new had a friend smell. in high school that literally claimed that he could smell like tubes like in the amps. I was like, no. <laughs> I smell tubes. Right. Dude, those are good. Those are quality. Those are GE tubes. That's those are old. pretty much what it sounded like. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I mean, everybody's got a talent. Right. That's <laughs> no. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be yes, a... not no, Sonic no. the Hedgehog. That's okay. Sonic Tonic. Oh, Sonic Tonic. It's probably a good drink. It, it could be. It's also a good hedgehog. <laughs> no. The reason you're saying uh, hog, it's because it's a hog pit. It is the hog pit. It's the, all, the hedgehog martini. It, it's all, it all mixes together to me. Sonic the Tonic at the hog pit. All right, 2 so, o'clock on Saturday. Go. The Owls, 2 o'clock at the loading dock. There's a lot of owl stuff Grafton. going on. Right, mm-hmm. Soulard Ooh. Blues Band, 4 to 7 at the Grafton Winery, Brew House. Yeah. In West Avenue, 3 to 7 at Grafton Pub. Jim on Keys, 1 to 5 at Aries in Grafton. Angel. Second night. Night number two. Yeah, and, and, and you had it right earlier. Punky, and I said Punky Whips, but you had it right. Uh, what did you say? Punky Meadows. Right. Punky Meadows, man. I was trying to think of their uh, the, of one of their songs, and I couldn't quite come up the with tower. it. The Tower. That's that, the big it, there one. You there you go. go. That is it, man. Oh, They, they okay. need that one on my mix. I Well, I'm... I'm 
You're going to put it in I'm there? I'm going okay. to, man. I'm going to. i got I to yeah. remember that one, man. That's one of those songs that's probably a bigger hit in St. Louis than it is than anywhere, anywhere else. else. So, so I just played I just did Mason, played Mason Prophet a few weeks ago, yeah. and I was talking with someone about it who had heard it, and uh, they were, they'd were grown up not around here, and they're like, who, who's that Mason Prophet that you played? And I'm like, yeah, if you didn't grow up in St. Louis, yeah. you probably have no clue, man. I remember when I went into a boot camp, I met this guy from San Francisco who liked hard rock. And so I'm like, obviously, you know who Sammy Hagar is, right? Oh, yeah. And he's like, no. I'm like, you're from San Francisco. He's from San right. Francisco. <laughs> Even if you're not from San Francisco, how do you not know? Right. He, didn't, he didn't know. That's but, crazy. you know, once again, Sammy Hagar in St. Louis, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, you got if, a lot of airplay here. I've heard some stories recently of him passing through Fast Eddie's in town here and like buying rounds for everybody. Wouldn't probably uh, tequila. Yeah, probably. I, I would. I would bet that it's <laughs> it his was own in the days tequila, before. Yeah. Probably he had his own, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, there you go, man. And and like you say, uh, Casey kind of made made his Van Halen wouldn't have even known who he was to ask him to sing if it wasn't for Casey <laughs> maybe I, I know Rush always talked about you know being one of the few places they got a airplay matter of fact they did a live album uh, or live recordings at the Checker Dome that's what it was yeah. called at the time All right what about Kim Mitchell not her <laughs> actually if we started talking about like St. Louis musicians that have went on mm. yeah there's a nice uh, long list there too yeah. so matter of fact there's a great uh, Rick Beto interview mm-hmm. on YouTube oh, yeah? of uh, Michael McDonald. Oh, nice. okay. And right nice. off the bat, he starts telling the story of his band that he had in high school, which Steve Scorfina yeah. was in, right? Mike and the Majestics or whatever. I'm like, mention Steve, mention Steve. But uh, he, he kind of went past it. But yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. cool to hear that you know, on a national platform. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. So where were we? Soulard Groove uh, Band? Soulard, yeah, Soulard Groove Band at, at the uh, Backstage Bar, formerly Back Bar. Oh, we were bar. past that. Yeah, okay, here's where we were. Soulshine Groove, 9 o'clock at the Backstage oh, that, yeah, Bar yeah. and Patio in yep. Edwardsville. Dustin Coleman, another singer-songwriter, 2 to 5 at the Foundry Public House in Edwardsville. Scott Marlin at Big Daddy's from 6 to 9 in Edwardsville. Happenstance, 5 to 8 <laughs> at the Stagger Inn in Edwardsville. And... Uh, Let's see. Aaron Wilkerson, 4.30 to 7. Blake Foltz, 8 o'clock to midnight at the cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. And uh, down at uh, Deutz Village Inn on Saturday, raising some money for Ethan. Not okay. exactly sure what the benefit's for. That's just what it's listed. It starts at 2. They'll have Bob Leone from 3 to 6. DJ Albert, which I believe is Fat Albert, actually, but I'm not sure. Six it's obese eight. Albert. That's fat with a P-H. <laughs> that's it man right and then flip side as we mentioned night number two down there at Deutz Village Inn Baywolf's even going to be playing this weekend 9 o'clock until 1 a.m. at Patrick's yeah, nice. in Granite go. City how about Dr. Martin Splanelberg oh, okay acoustic uh, we've had one of the members on the show yeah yeah uh, with, the, uh, with uh, Lance from uh, oh yeah 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 uh-huh. uh, the uh, the uh, Jack White tribute band there. you gotta write this Casey one. Casey you was say his name. Jack Black but you gotta I, I write know this I know well, I want to give know, you kudos I kept man. getting accused of being racist when I said right. Jack Black <laughs> <laughs> one of these Jacks right one of these Jacks so uh, but that yeah his name was Casey I believe was, yeah. was the gentleman's name and a uh, fine fine guy there Doctor uh, Martin Splanel Brigade at Patty McDee's in nice City. and what a great Black. what a great weird name Doctor Martin Splanel Brigade and they're gonna keep the Madco Theater company presenting disaster movie the musical going on saturday as well down this, there at the miners theater in collinsville this is a bigger event than what i thought i don't know i i'm, I'm really gonna have to look into this now the, the doc martin uh, no the, the disaster movie oh the disaster, yeah disaster the music is it movie. part three or is it just the it's, same it, thing it, three I, times i think it's the same thing three times it can't be that disastrous if it keeps happening though right well i i you know I'm agreeing. You got to go uh, see for yourself. Or maybe it's such a disaster, people just keep flocking to see right. it because it's like a train wreck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're like, oh my god! I got to go see that this. again. Oh, it's so <laughs> funny. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but there you go. That is uh, that's down at Col- uh, in Collinsville at Miners yep. Theater. Yep. Happening uh, Friday, Saturday, 
Sunday, maybe. I we're, we're on Saturday. Baby. We're on Saturday. Yeah. I can't remember, man. I'm sorry. And Experience Live Music Row, we mentioned Pat Liston down there this uh, weekend, uh, 6 to 9 at Papa Vito's. Ah, there you go, man. Blues and Grass at H's Bar in Belleville, Black Top nice. South up at Martin's Lane, and Root House Grand Band all the way up in Germantown. Germantown's a stomping mm, ground. Nine. Millside Inn Grand Band. And Shotgun Creek wants us to let everybody know they'll be at the Trainwreck Saloon in Westport. And Feel, who, uh, oh, yeah. Fresh off the road. They've with, been, uh, they've been on, on the Blackberry Smoke Tour right. for months, man. Yep. And, uh, they're in town. Cape Girardeau is about as close as they're going to get for now. Seven yeah. o'clock. Scott Hall is. Yeah. They're, they're going to be Hall, there. They're going to be there Saturday. They should just stick around on Monday because that'll be a good place to be come Monday. Yeah. The Green Zone. Yes. So that just leaves Sunday, Pigman. But we got to talk about uh, Bicycle Day again. We do. Jacoby's Art Center. I've got the bike. <laughs> 419. 419, man. That is coming up. I get a not, sandwich yeah. and head on down there. And and as Warren Zevon said, you guys don't enjoy hand out, every sandwich. Do you hand out sandwiches? Oh, we throw them. Okay. We chuck them at people. No, uh, we you know we have been known to, the sandwich brothers band has been known to have open sand bags of sandwiches laying around the stage. Which you know, I mean, we don't do it in front of kids. You know, <laughs> right? I mean, not your not your family friendly peanut butter and jelly. Oh, uh, it, it's the best. It's made with love. <laughs> <laughs> it's secret ingredients is love. There you go. Uh, yeah, gonna be a gonna be a good time, uh, and and again, ten dollars for for, right. four, for four bands. And uh, what time did you say it starts? Do you remember? I don't remember the exact start time off the top of my head. Uh, it's I, I think it's six you, o'clock. You it's talk. not in the morning, that's for sure. No, right, no. right. <laughs> we no. know that much. You get off work, you go to Jacoby, you'll be there on time. Kind of situation. As long as you work traditional hours. Kind there of situation. Let's, let's see if there's actual time. Oh no, uh, it says uh, four p.m. It kicks off. Is that the doors or music? Mm, I don't know. Okay. The doors got... are going to be there? The doors. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. It's just, it's like, well, it's just a, a hologram of Jim Morrison. And, I was going to say, is there anyone left? I guess maybe the drummer? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Because yeah, I think the rest, well, Ray. Ray. I was going to say Ray, Ray Manzarek. Yeah, hey, I'd go yeah. see him play solo. Yeah, Why not? I mean, well, yeah. Uh, Ray Manzarek. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not showing that. But yeah, the uh, so, so we've got... Uh, Derry Garcia, we got Jared Lutz, Derry Garcia's Lonesome Blues, the Sandwich Brothers Band, and Colt Ball and Friends, uh, all four of those. And there's going to be some some vendors. There's going to be some uh, trippy art and some you know trippy lights and and just a good time down there. Ten dollars. It's a it's a, a nice like I say two fifty a band. So, uh, so so your band you know as a solo artist. You were really making out the best because all these other bands got to split that two fifty. Like I, we got to take my band has to take that two dollars and fifty cents and go. We each get thirty three cents. No, I'm not exactly sure how the money breakdowns I, I, work. I, 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 I right, I, I'm totally talking smack. No, no, a hundred percent. So, so my big uh, question is: Are you going to play the Terrapin Station Suite? I don't know. I might. I will say that I uh, put in a lot of work to learn the whole thing, so it's something that's definitely going to be a frequent staple of most of my shows for the next several months uh, at a minimum. Because so, you put too much work into it. Right. It's, it's one of those things. I do try to change the set list and not repeat songs mm-hmm. back to back, but that's one that is special. And also, whenever you spend the time learning something that intensive... If you don't play it, it's gone. It, yeah, exactly. Gone. exactly. Exactly. Like, I learned it in a matter of actually, like, not the whole thing. I'd already had the majority of it down, but I learned all the extra parts, basically, in the three days leading up to my last show, and I really haven't rehearsed it since. So in the next week before I play again, or maybe in the next two weeks before I play at the uh, at the Bicycle Day celebration, I'm definitely going to rehearse it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. over again to make sure i have everything still locked into memory because uh, that's that's one the grateful dead even uh, didn't play not in much. its entirety right. correct yeah. yeah yeah the only people that i know of off the top of my head that have done it start to finish um is joe russo's almost done i was gonna say jay, do jay rad's it. done it because um, i've seen him do it right right i have too it's great yeah uh holly bowling is the only other person that does it solo that i've ever heard of but she's a classically trained piano player so yeah. as far as like one person and a guitar i don't know if anybody else has ever done it so yeah. that's cool in its own right 
um, it's it was definitely a passion project for me too. That's the song that got me into the band to begin with. And for the longest time, I didn't even think I could do the main section by myself. I figured that out three years ago, and I've spent three years thinking the rest of it was impossible. And I figured out a way to make it happen three years later. So, total of like five and a half years later, I finally wow. managed to do the whole thing by myself. You know, and, and I've seen the the uh, the dead do parts of it but i don't know that i've ever seen him do yeah. all of it smashed together like right. the whole thing the whole thing start to it finish it goes so yeah. long but then again there are a lot of dead shows that i don't remember 100 percent. right what happened. right you know, the closest that's why they're so good right? right the closest the grateful dead ever came to doing the entire thing they're like the first two main parts is what they do live. You have Lady with a Fan oh, and yes, then Terrapin yes. Station. Yep, I've seen Lady with a Fan, seen Terrapin there Station. There are smaller pieces within those even that like technically are labeled on the studio version, but those are the two main components is what they'd be titled live. They went into the next section called Add a Siding right. one time, and they only did it instrumentally. They didn't even add the, the lyrics. And then there are two more sections after that that yeah. never even got touched by them. Yeah. So That's, that, that is a, a – well, it's a tough one to – pull off live but it's also one of those like a, a dead show or you only you know all these people are there and you've only got so many hours and and if right. you do the entirety of this there's there's a lot of your show man it, it is it, it's like one it was one of those things where you'd go see the dead they would do two long sets mm -hmm. but they still only played eight songs man right and if they play terrapin station they're only playing three songs mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> but know? it's seven songs within one kind right. of, well know? yeah 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 but absolutely yeah it's one of those things that even the studio track that doesn't get jammed out at all even that's like 15 oh, minutes goes, yeah, 15 and a half on, roughly yeah. and uh to build all the band parts live that takes some time for me to do and then also jamming it out and expanding it a little bit like exploring different jam spaces and whatnot that also adds a little bit so i i would say like 25 ish minutes is about as fast as i would probably ever make it through the entirety of it see and pink floyd would jam echoes oh yeah all day 30 long. minutes yeah 30 yeah. minutes Good. keep going no right. no uh no, yeah, that is a uh, that is quite the piece uh, quite the undertaking there so that'd be Indeed. a That'd be interesting to, to watch your rendition. Yes, indeed. Uh, so cool, man. Uh, so you might catch that on the uh, tw uh, 12th at the conservatory. You might catch it on the 19th at mm -hmm. Bike Day. Yeah. And, or uh, you might catch it at both. Right. I'm not 100% sure. But so that's why you have I, I, to show up. I'm but, leaning heavily on the both. You never uh, know. Oh, so wow. you might catch it at one. You might catch it at both. But for sure, if you catch it, see a doctor and get rid of it. Right. Right. <laughs> I would say with 100% certainty, at least one of the shows will have it. All right. Considering I've already built one of the set lists, actually right before I showed up today. I, yeah. I built one of them. So. There you go. There yep. you go. Interesting. Gonna, there, there's a bit of mystique behind it. You, you have to keep oh, you know man. a little bit of secret to it. Sure. It's kind of it, like it's a surprise game for a lot of people, like with the original band and living iteration still, too. Like you kind of go and you're hoping that you hear a song, and if it were spoiled ahead of time, it's not as special, you know? Oh, yeah. So, Well, and, and uh, I, I go through this where you, you go to see a band and you get your hopes up. Oh, I, I hope they do this mm -hmm. song or I hope they do that song. But if they're truly good at what they do, they it doesn't matter what they it do. It doesn't matter what no. they do. And they know what to do more than I know what should be done. Sure. They, they know what they should play in Atlanta, mm -hmm. Georgia on this particular 100%. night. More than I'm going, I hope they play, bring in a Georgia mail. Right. <laughs> <You know>? Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so there you go, man. Like I say, a little mystique. Got to leave a little. Got to know what to leave in and what to leave out. Indeed. Uh, there you go. Darius. Garcia, Derry Garcia, the lonesome Derry Garcia. Lonesome, please. Before, before uh, we run out of time here, I did look it up, um, the schedule for the bicycle day. Yeah. Music starts at 420. Go figure. They, it should have it should have started at 419. 419. Come on. Uh, it might though, you know. Yeah, you gotta leave that up to Marshall chance. Marshall involved, yeah. And, and then I'll start. We know what he's gonna be in next week, and we're gonna discuss yeah. exact uh, exact start times because I'm I'm right. putting my well, vote to 419. Here it is if you read it. Oh yeah, no, I can't read, okay. bro. I got it. <laughs> you think you're so smart because you got read. I, st I start at 5:30. Sandwich Brothers at seven, and Colt Ball and Friends at nine. There you go, man. You That's coming it. up on the 19th of April at Jacoby's. Uh, the 7th of April, this Sunday, Naked Soul, 1 to 5. Insider, 6 to 10 at Fast Eddie's. Exit 52 Acoustic out of Bakers and Hale. From 2 to 6, Evan Shaw, 4 to 7 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. The open mic at the Acoustically Perfect Stagger. And again <laughs> in Edwardsville, Ryan Holting, 3 to 6 at the Cabin at Judy Creek. 
Everett Dean, who uh, sometimes poses as Elvis, he's going to be with Ashley Underwood from 3 to 6 at uh, Deutz Village Inn. On Sunday afternoon, the trilogy, 1 o'clock at the Loading Dock in Grafton. There'll be another performance of Madco Theater Company Presents Disaster <laughs> Movie, the final performance on Sunday. Uh, Ten String Dream, 2 to 6 at Grafton Pub. Scott and Carl, 1 to 5 at Grafton Winery. Carl Mager, 1 to 5 at Aries Resort in Grafton. Carrie Lee Ban, 1 to 5 at Third Shoot in Grafton. Left Hand Cowboy, 2 to 6 up at Wild Pickens in Chesterfield. And uh, look, at the name of that band, Pigpen, for Experience Live Music Row. What do you Experience think? Experience Live. Fuzzy Love. Fuzzy. I go to fuzzylove.com a lot. <laughs> it's like a shag carpet in the 70s. <laughs> it's, oh, it is. It is. Yeah, scrub your browser after that one. <laughs> also like a shag <laughs> carpet from the 70s. This particular piece of carpet is my couch, my toilet. <laughs> my, my everything. My lover. <laughs> Oh, fuzzy yeah, fuzz- lines the walls of your van. Uh, fuzzy love, I like it. Uh, also on Sunday, Pepperwood with Aaron Joe at and West Wind, seven right. o'clock at CBGB in St. Louis, and the Grand Illusion <laughs> sticks tribute. Not the Grand Illusion, the right. Grand Illusion. <laughs> They're playing at Val Catholic School in St. Genevieve. Oh wow! Okay, there you go. Awesome, man. So that is, uh, you know, that that's just pages and pages of things happening in our community and, and surrounding areas from Thursday through Sunday. Mm-hmm. Lucky to be in, around here. For yeah, sure. yeah. Let let him who says there's nothing to do shut the hell up. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so. And we always put the uh, list in the uh, description of this video on YouTube. You can also find all the links at cottonmouth.org. Plus, you can find links to venues, bands, places, uh, if you're in a band, where you can uh, get your stuff played on the radio. Yeah. Several locations on there for that. Also, uh, booking agents, uh, everything a band needs. It's like a, a band workshop right there you just go down the list and uh looking for gigs there's yeah. places looking for bands there's bands looking mm-hmm. for you know whatever what what do you want we got it it's a one-stop shop right. and you, we you do need, that you need a new cadillac with a pink slip we got it no. we do all this because uh we've been in bands for a long time and we know the parts that are the hardest to do because you want to spend all your time concentrating on playing mm-hmm. yeah. right yeah, yeah. the fun so, part yeah try That's to lay it out time. so it makes it real easy and you don't spend a lot of time you just go there to cottonmouth.org and uh plug and play yep and uh, that's all been made possible by Help Music Company for yes. going on eight years next month, Big Ben. Man, next month is eight years. Yeah. And uh, yeah. what's the other guy? Matt Van Voris. Matt, Matt Van Voris. Germantown Insurance. Messias Insurance. Uh, Messias Insurance. Germantown up there, that building. Yeah, the Germantown in building up in, in Jerseyville. Uh, and and uh, Town Club. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. uh, Mr. Donut. All that man, right? All that. Who's now advertising on this station? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks man. to man. Well, you know, I, I'm sure. I, you know, I, I think all they do is take all the money I spend on biscuits and gravy and give it back to us at this point. That's what he spends his two fifty on. There That's what go. I hit. Is exactly what I spend. <laughs> it my just two. keeps going in a circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. or an X. <laughs> right. I get my two fifty from Jacoby's. I give it to the donut shop. They you get give it two to, biscuits yeah. that are shaped like X's. Right. After you take a bite out of each corner. There you go. (laughs) It's 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 very uh, yeah. Hey, we hope to see everybody or hear everybody or whatever we do each week here (laughs) next Thursday. Yeah. When or get if we survive Monday. Oh yeah, we're yeah. yeah, All these exits happening. I well as long as I there's still power. There's we'll an, be here. If you find the X to stand on, you will be safe. There you go. X marks the safe spot. Absolutely, man. So there you go. The, the first half of this eclipse. Yeah, I rode my bicycle to the top of go, Monk's yeah. Mound. Nice. Oh, nice. And uh, watched it That's go cool. over. Yeah, it's a good spot to be. It was very warm. I was sweating very hard, and I don't know if it was because it was warm. It, it was, was probably hot because I rode sure. my bicycle that there. time. <laughs> yeah. I crab walked up Mount Everest. I was warm. I <laughs> don't know why. That's Everest. a solution to the cold problem. <laughs> right. Bunch of people with uh, instruments up there, bongos. Oh, nice. That would be super All cool. All kinds of wild yeah. noise, and I'm sure that's probably happening. Oh, uh, yeah. I know there's a, a few eclipse parties going on on Monday, but... Uh, being said a Monday, it's not as much as a... But, you know, I feel like this eclipse 
has been uh, a much bigger deal in the media. Than this one is twice as long. I mean, we just had like one, what, four months ago that went across California. And, and and we had one just a few years back, right? He, he, I mean, yeah. I guess it's been a it's been a while, but it, but it was like you say, th- this is a, a bit rare, a more rare because it's longer, and we've got the comets going on the mm-hmm. same day. There's there's just a, a lot, lot going on, there. and and Mercury's in retrograde, no, I'm right? Making, making that a fake. One can, of them's I, in retrograde. And you can or pick up an eclipse cake. That's how commercialized <laughs> this one has got. Oh, yeah, crazy. you kidding me? Yeah. Who thinks of eating cake during an Watch eclipse? the eclipse on pay-per-view. <laughs> People with a sweet tooth, for That's sure. Right. Watch the eclipse on pay-per-view for sixty nine ninety five. I don't know. That I'm sure probably be, exists somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure it's, well, I'm sure it's being live-streamed on uh, yeah. our favorite spot, YouTube. It, it, From multiple right. sources. Well, hey, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Derry Garcia, thanks so much for coming back and hanging Indeed, out with us again. Thank you very much for having uh, me. Congratulations on your continuing uh, success with your with your art. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm loving the way it's going, man. It's all uphill from here. We're going to keep the train rolling. Absolutely, sure. man. And Absolutely. everybody, cross your fingers. <laughs> not an X. In, in <laughs> well, or an X, of an for X good luck. Or... Position that <laughs> Darius plays. Right. Hopefully we uh, survive so I can play another show. On 19th. Indeed. For Bicycle Day. Okay. Ah, X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Hey, thanks again for coming down, buddy. Thanks again to Halpin and Matt Van Voorst for sponsoring the shows. Everybody out there, man, get out and support local music and art. 